Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create an explainer type video animation effect in PowerPoint. The beautiful video animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. First, we see a sentence on the screen. In this case, it says, we don't believe it. Of course, you can replace this with any text of your choice. Then on a click, a hook comes and pulls out don't so the sentence becomes, we believe it. Let me show that again. We have a sentence, then one word in the sentence is removed so that the sentence changes its meaning. This is a very commonly used technique in many of the explainer videos. And this video shows you how to achieve that effect without using any of those complex software like After Effects. Now let us jump in and learn how to create this from scratch. The first step, as you might have guessed, is to have some text written on the slide. There are three text boxes here. First one has only we there, and the second one has don't, and the third one has believe it. The reason why I wrote this sentence in three separate boxes is so that we can remove the one in the middle, so we can change the meaning of the sentence. The next step is to have the hooks. These are the hooks that I picked from pixabay.com. And this is the image. If you look for chain hook, you will find this image, which as you can see here has transparent background. And that is what I downloaded by going here. And this is the result. Once we have a hook like this, then all we need to do is to isolate the part we need and then remove everything else by using crop tool. So let me select this, go to picture format, go to crop tool, then crop everything else like this. And then you can, of course, do resizing of this. So this is how I'm going to resize. You can have any size that you want. Let me right click on this cut and then go back to this place here and then place it over here. Now, when I place this, you can observe that I am keeping a little bit of distance at the top because when I use fly in effect, I would add a bit of bounce. So if you have the edge of the graphic touching the edge of the slide, then the fly in effect with bounce would actually look a little bit unnatural. So you need to leave a little bit of space so that the bounce effect shows through without looking too unnatural. Excellent. So we have got the first step done. The next step is to have a couple of lines going from here and here so that we are able to tell our story. So let us go to auto shapes gallery. From lines, pick up the line tool and then draw the first one so that it goes over the hook like this. Then pick up the line tool once again and then from here, I'm going to draw in such a way that this will be sent behind. Right click and send to back. Now let us select both of these. Go to shape outline, go to weight and increase the weight like say two and a half points or three points. So let us have maybe two one by four points. And then let us give it black color and make sure that you adjust the height so that it just about touches the top surface of the hook like this. Excellent. Now we've got the next step done as well. Now let us start animating the components one after another. Let us go to animations, go to animation pane so you can watch what I'm doing here. First, let us select the hook, use fly in animation so that it comes from the top. So let us go to effect options and say from top. So that is how it comes in. And to give it a little bit of drama, let us go to effect options here and then go to the option called bounce end and let us give it a little bit of bounce so that it looks more natural. The next step is these two lines are going to wipe in from the bottom. So let us select both these lines and then go to wipe animation and the direction is just right and this is going to happen after previous. So on a click this flies in and then these two lines attach the word to the hook. Then comes the twist. Now you might think that the next step is to have all these elements fly out, isn't it? Not necessarily. Let me show you what happens if you use just the fly out animation. Let me select all these add animation, go to exit animation and say fly out and let us change the direction to top. Now watch this. When I go to slideshow mode, you can see that this comes and the lines are done. Then when I click, this is how the fly out animation happens. And that is because there is different rate at which these different objects 
fly out and that looks really shabby. Now on the contrary, take a look at how the animation that I showed you at the beginning plays. This is how it goes. Isn't it far smoother? Now the reason why we are able to achieve that is I played a very simple trick there. The trick is first to remove all these flyout animations. I'm going to create another object. Let us select all of these. Right click, copy, right click and paste it as a picture. Now to this picture, if you were to apply flyout animation, then the whole animation plays quite smoothly. But then how do we introduce this? That is where the magic lies. The next step here after this comes in and then the lines are formed is to have all of these elements, including the word and the lines disappear. So let me go to add animation and let us add the animation called disappear, which is the exit animation. And this happens after previous. While that happens, we are going to place this right above that and then let us send this back. Okay, so send to back. Now we are going to have that image that we created appear. So let us go to appear and this switch happens behind the scenes. So let us have this happen after previous. Now the next step is to have that picture exit using flyout animation. So let us go to add animation and then go to flyout animation and let us change the direction to top and that is how it goes. It goes very smoothly and we will say this is after previous. Now while that goes out, we need these two words to come together. So let us select this, go to animations, go to motion path animation, change the effect options to right and then change the place where it ends. So you can see that there is this red arrow here. You click on that, hold the shift button down so that you are able to move things in a straight line and then move it to this position here. Then do the same thing for this. Select this, then go down motion path. This time it goes to the left and once again do the same thing. Select that arrow here, red arrow, hold the shift button down and make sure that the place where it ends is somewhere here. Excellent. Now these two things happen with previous and that is a very important one. Why? Because as the previous one goes out, these two things come together, which also means that the flyout animation needs to have the same duration as these motion path animations. So let us increase the duration to match everything. Now we have done all the animation that is required and let us go through the animations one after another so that you understand what is going on when I show the slideshow mode. First, we have a fly-in animation when this hook comes in with a bounce. Then we have these two straight lines wiping in. Third, the magic switch happens. All these elements, including the hook, the line and the word disappear and they get replaced by the picture of these elements, which we created by selecting everything, copying and then pasting them back as picture and we put the picture right on top of the earlier one and sent it to back. So that is the switch that is happening here. All these elements are disappearing and the image is appearing at the same time. The next step is the flyout animation of the image. While it flies out, these two move closer together using motion path animation and the way the whole thing plays is like this. On a click, fly in, lines going out, and these two are coming together. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Most people wrongly assume that if they need to create motion graphics kind of animation, you need to use some complex software. Nothing can be further from the truth. The animation capabilities of PowerPoint are good enough to give any complex software a run for the money, but you need to know how to use PowerPoint animation the right way. But if you are a business presenter, who doesn't have the time to create such animations from scratch. Yet there is a need for you to make an impact on your audience so that they sit and watch your presentation from beginning till end. That is the reason why we created our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle has more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to tell a story with impact. In this bundle, we have a huge collection of templates that are all designed with a business presenter like you in mind. So if you're a professional 
who needs to make an impact on your audience, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle could be a very useful addition to your arsenal. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come to this page, take a look at what this product has to offer. And if you think it is the right one, make a purchase and use it for a lifetime. Now, I wish to show you some example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, where we have used the power of custom animation to create some very interesting concepts. First, let me show you how we played with words using PowerPoint custom animation. This is a strip that shows impossible. On a click, there is a crack that appears, takes away the I am, and it shows that it is possible. This is a word called change. Then on a click, there is a way in which change is demonstrated. Let me show you another concept-based template. This template talks about how you can pick from many options. On a click, a hand comes with multiple options. You can replace this with the number of options available. Then another hand comes and makes one choice. Then you can replace this label with the choice that is made. If you have any additional information to talk about, you can always replace this text here. Let us go to the next template. In this template, we show how small ideas like these all combine leading to a big idea like this. Can you see here? It glows as well. And then you can write your explanation for this. Let us go to the next template, which shows the idea of brainstorming. First, you need to generate a lot of ideas. The next step is to evaluate the ideas so that you are able to differentiate between the ones that are right and the ones that are wrong. The next step is you remove all those ideas that are not practical. The next step is you organize all the ideas that you have selected so that you are able to take the right ideas forward with a clear plan of action. See, there is so much that is said and all of this is done through PowerPoint animation and it is available for you to just pick and stick in your slide deck. The next template is about building a business. Here we have used a very simple metaphor of Lego blocks. Take a look at this. This is your first building block in the business. The next one, the next one, the next one, and the next one. Can you see there are so many practical applications for simple templates like this. So the next time you want to create a business presentation, give yourself an edge by using templates that have the potential to grab and retain the attention of even the most distracted audience. Please check out our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. By the way, did you like our explainer type video animation effect tutorial in PowerPoint? If you did, then please encourage us by giving this video a thumbs up and by sharing it with your friends. In case you don't know already, we publish two PowerPoint videos every week and five Excel videos, one per weekday. So if you want to excel in Excel and PowerPoint, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about any new videos we post on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.